Third thing on the agenda is the discussion of the use of staff time and county resources for non-county business. And this is Commissioner Breitendahl. We're kind of, uh, this is kind of coming out of our liaisons from the other day when we were talking about what is, as a commissioner, a lot of times we do a lot of things that we wouldn't normally do if you weren't a commissioner. So we're in the position. Uh, going to different meetings, going to different events, and uh, participating with uh, basically the people. And how do we find ways to be able to balance that, uh, with our participation with the public at these different programs, and still meet public meeting law, and still be able to be transparent with the public in all those aspects. So. We were our, during liaisons, we kind of decided that we we're going to agendize this one to have discussion because we thought it was important. Because uh, previous boards are, um, had all treated this differently with scheduling and stuff. So this is what it revolves around is basically our schedules and, and how we address those types of things. Um, previous discussions are let's let's anything we do have staff. Put it on the calendar. This is the previous boards. We calendarize things. Yeah, it helps get us prevent from being um, in a position where that where the public might think that we're in a public meeting, but we're not. So everything is published in our. You know, even when we go to AOC, we I, we publish the fact that we make it a public meeting, even though there's exclusions under. Oregon law that they don't have to be published under AOC. We just go the extra mile to be the transparent organization. Um, so, and that I got the feeling that at the time that the board decided that we wanted to, uh, if it's a something that's not on our liaison assignment, that we schedule it ourselves. So we're we're identifying our liaison assignments as the areas in which staff is allowed to uh, schedule our schedule. I'm correct because that's what kind of what we have a general consensus that the I think it's more than liaisons if it's about um, like like going to the um, chamber luncheon it's not my liaison but it's get scheduled on the schedule by staff so well, I don't know specifically well, that, that's exactly what I'm talking about um, if when we, the liaison is kind of a consensus that it was your liaison assignments staff focuses on that and that's where your staff time to be used and that's the chamber luncheon we're a member of the chamber, um, but that's what we give you. That's what allows staff to do it because we're a member of the Medford Chamber. But if you went to the Ashland Chamber, that wouldn't be allowed because we don't. They're not. That would be considered a non-county function because Ashland Chamber is not where we have our membership. Or the Eagle Point of the Rogue Chamber. Yeah. I put on my own schedule. Because those are my own little busy things I do. Can I clarify a couple things? Certainly. There, there's not been a difference in how commissioners do this. We have a policy, and it says that county resources won't be used for personal purposes. Commissioner Bridenthal asked staff first to re uh, RSVP himself and his wife for a dinner at Sustainable Valley, which had nothing to do whatsoever with county business. Originally, the county seed funded Sustainable Valley, but we provide no funding. We aren't a member. We don't participate on the board. And staff said, you know, our policy prohibits us from RSVP and you and your wife uh, for this. <coughs> Commissioner Bradenthal asked also that staff, I think the word was schedule, maybe register, but I think it was schedule him for an event. I don't remember the exact event, but also something that wasn't county related. And we have a policy that prohibits it. So um, Commissioner Bridenthal brought up, well, aren't we using staff resources if we put it on our calendar? Our calendar way is a way for you all to let people know where you're going to be. Mm -hmm. um, and as council said, uh, likely appropriate. But when we start using staff resources to make scheduling for things that are personal to you, then that becomes an issue. Um, um, it, it comes an issue with our policy. So if you're I just want to make sure this isn't a difference in well, what we've done. Let me clarify, you basically said that I asked for something that wasn't a county function. And because I received that invitation for the Sustainable Valley piece, 
And I had no idea that we weren't part of that sustainable valley piece anymore. So when I'm asking to schedule me, I'm thinking of something that we're still participating with and to do that because that's been the practice. Is So I, it wasn't necessarily that I went out there to try to do something and use staff time to schedule something. Yeah, I wasn't about that. Well, I just kind of came across that way. Um, so understanding what is county resources or, or, or county function and what's not a county function, and just clarifying that stuff. So having that so we don't have this confusion. So and identifying and saying, okay, if you're going to the Eagle Point Chamber, and I'm going to the Eagle Point Chamber because I got invited for something. Over the last three years, I basically said, yeah, Vanilla or whoever staff, I'm, I'm going to the Eagle Point Chamber and please schedule that time period. And so now what we're basically what we're saying is that we're going to schedule that ourselves because that's not part of the county function. But I just want to make sure that we're having a very candid conversation because when we go down here, we are going to be responsible at this point if a personally responsible, in my opinion, if we both show up at the same event and we fail to put that on our calendar and somebody perceives that we are in a public meeting, there's no, in my opinion, there's no safety check. Well, oh, just, just because something is on your calendar does not mean that public meeting on notices have been met. So if both of you were to show up at the Eagle Point Chamber and were to discuss or deliberate something towards which the board would make a final decision, so all those lawyer words. Um, just having it on your calendar would not uh, satisfy the public meeting requirements. Um, I do agree with Commissioner Breidenthal. It is on um, the individual commissioners to ensure that um, meetings of, of, of a quorum of the board, um, and, and unfortunately, we have only three people on the board, unfortunately, to guess on it, but the quorum is two of you, so anytime there's two of you in a room, and there's deliberation or discussion towards a the final decision the board would make, you've got a quorum. So or receiving input or something. That's part of the deliberations, yeah. the receiving input. Um, it's tough, but I mean, putting it on the, on the, the, the county calendar for uh, COA staff or COA, uh, CAO or BSC staff isn't going to, I guess, address the public meeting concern. If it's a matter of public meeting, then it is a matter of public business, and we do notice it. So that has nothing to do with your calendar or whether or not staff register you for something. Okay. If you tell staff that we're, well, and let me let me speak to Lynette or other staff. When a commissioner comes to one of them and says do something, they typically do it. That doesn't mean that what they did complied with policy or not, but you have quite a bit of influence and authority when you come and tell staff to do something. And it's not until one of the staff go, hey, this is kind of weird, I'm being asked to do this, is this okay, that we go, no. Um, shouldn't have been doing that or that's not okay. So if staff have done that for you, Doug, for personal reasons, it does violate county policy of using staff resources for doing it. It doesn't make it right because they did it. And that that's the whole point of you know bringing the issue forward. Is this, this, that's the whole point of this discussion. You keep saying it violates county policy or whatever. Here's the, here's the gist of it. We are taking responsibility to making sure it's publicly noticed. And that kind of got bypassed. My point being bypassed here in this, when you guys did that, it was, we're taking responsibility for that public notification at this point in time. And having this on our calendar, or having staff ensure that this is on our calendar, many times in the last three years that I've been here, because of this, it's been caught. The staff that says, we're both scheduled for this, we haven't publicly noticed this. Do you want it publicly noticed? And the, because of that's the way it was being done, it's it's actually saved us to make sure that public notification has gone out. But you would actually that, have an okay, agenda me, item to discuss me, this every week. Yeah. Review of calendars. And if we forget something, or if we forget to put it on here, or if we have something because we're so buried in other work that we didn't do that part 100%, and it results in a public meeting, then we're the ones that are held accountable to that. And so that, I was just saying that safety check or that checkpoint is no longer there to someone basically saying, okay, this is this is this. 
So I just want to make sure that we're clear that we're taking on that responsibility ourselves. So if there's that there, we can't ever sit back and say, well, I think we'll be in front of whatever. I think the safety check's still there, Doug. It just requires you to put it on your calendar rather than use staff resources to do it. And I, I agree. I'm not confused over it. I haven't had a confusion on it yet. <laughs> but um, because I do take care of my personal on my calendar. For instance, the fair board meeting. And I've had that put on the calendar. I've had it noticed because occasionally I want to go to those because we have the new appointments. And I've put on my calendar, but staff has noticed it. And you even said, has this been noticed? If it has been noticed, I should leave. And that's the responsibility we take. Putting on our calendar, leave if it isn't noticed, and making sure it is noticed. And we do it with our calendars. We do it with our calendars we speak about at this um, Thursdays. I don't think it's, to me, it's not a problem. And I don't have a problem taking care of that on my calendar. It's not a problem until you have, here's an example. You're now on the ONC board. The ONC board has always met traditionally on a Thursday. You're going to miss meetings at some point in time to be able to attend those meetings. And recently I was in the press because I missed so many meetings. They didn't report that I was attending ONC meetings or other meetings in the place of. They just said that I was missing a meeting. You miss that meeting. You're not there to say, hey, this needs to be calendared. And when nobody knows about it. And if you miss it's because you may or may not have it. So that's why I just wanted to be sure that there are gaps that you're gonna we're gonna have to take responsibility for here because there's meetings you're gonna miss because you're attending other meetings that are just as important to the county and you're not gonna be able to sit there and say this is calendared and then we show up and we take that responsibility. So we're gonna have to say we're gonna have to come up with something as a board, just like what we did at the fair board the other night. So hey is this calendared? And, and, and I made sure it was. So right. I think that's the responsibility we take. The more we take on, the more responsibility we have with it. And uh, have you had so a problem it with it being a, a conflict? It wasn't there, was, there, there was the first few years we had a few conflicts and uh, things, and, and I looked at the other commissioners that we noticed. And, no, uh oh, okay. So and then one leaves. It's no big deal. Yeah, if you miss it, you leave. Or dis or dissipate or do things. You know, there's ways to to deal with it, but. Um, I just wanted to make sure that we're aware of all that because I have had those conflicts in the past and that's kind of why we did it the way we did it. So, um, well, I, don't, I don't want to see those I don't agree with changing. I don't agree with changing our policy. I don't agree with putting more on the staff unless it's putting our audio on file. <laughs> <laughs> that's a <conflict>. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can take care of my schedule. And if, and if you don't know how, I don't have time, you know, ask. Don't know how. Oh. Well, I don't know what the problem is, so I don't know. I don't have any problem putting mine on. And if we have a conflict, we'll do, let's deal with it and see if we need to change things at that point. Both of these instances that I'm aware of, and there's probably other ones with other commissioners too. Oh, yeah, you singled me out. Yes. Kind of that way. Well, I singled you out because it was your issue. I wanted to explain why it staff was said agenda. it was on the agenda. But, um, you know, both of these issues were of the result of two or three emails exchanging. And to be honest with you, it takes about 10 seconds to put it on your calendar yourself. It took more time and effort to send an email telling someone, RSVP, me and my wife for this, or whatever the issue is, than it does just to open up the calendar and put it on your calendar. It takes more of your time and their time. And as I said, unless it's related to county business. And that's also a question, because they look at things that you guys give, and you may, in your mind, know it's related to county business somehow. They look at it and go, I don't understand how this is related to county business. I don't even know what this is. Mm -hmm. So it's, right. you know, it's, it's, it honestly creates more work than just putting it on your calendar yourself. Um, this wasn't just about putting something on calendar, so this was, RSVPing with an event outside and putting it on a calendar. Uh, oh, and to that, like I said, I thought we were still involved with sustainable balance, so I would thought it was following policy on it. You keep going back to that one. But. Well, even if that were the case, Doug, in that case, RSVPing, you would be appropriate, but not your wife. And you had asked for both. So, you know, it's, it would be better for you to do it yourself, and then there's not a conflict there. And, and, and obviously, there's lots of things we'll learn as we go when we ask 
for this to be done, was able to say, County, okay. Because <laughs> a lot of things I don't know either as well, if it's county, does this or not. Well, and I said, we can take said this a lot of times, if you disagree that staff should be doing something or not, you just bring it to the board and the board can direct us. Mm -hmm. we're, but, but for that, we're going to follow what the policy says and or the ordinance. And what is county business, that definition, define it? I mean, as a commissioner, the county business is a lot different than it is as an administrator. You have a lot different business that you do. And as a commissioner, it's a lot different than a planning director or a corrections director or anything else. Your job is totally different than what's considered county business. It's, in my opinion, totally different at times. Because you have a whole different perspective on how things are done. So showing up to different events and meetings that you wouldn't normally do because you're a commissioner, to stay in touch, stay informed, having information gathering from a lot of different sources is part of being a commissioner. So what is county business? Well, for instance, the Lincoln Day Dinner is not county business. Right. But I'm going as a commissioner. I do not expect the staff to make my reservations for me, my husband, or my table. And I, but it will be noticed in case there's other commissioners there. You know, uh, but I wouldn't probably be going had I not been a commissioner. Really? Yeah. So, you know, it's it. I, was, I don't see it as an issue. Right. Farm bureau. Mm -hmm. Farm bureau meeting. Is that county business? Technically, no. Is it a place where you gather a lot of information that helps you in the decision making process as a commissioner? Yes. If you're, if you're going there to talk to them about a well, declaration committee, then it's county business. You're, it's something that you're responsible for. If you're going just to have the dinner and listen, then that's different. Yeah, if you're attending, that's what I'm trying to say. If you're attending and you're just back gathering information based on something that's going on somewhere, you know, it, it may or may not pertain to an ordinance down the road or may, you know, it's hard to say. I mean, the GMO issue went to a lot of, a lot of, Farm bureaus and cattlemen association meetings to listen to what's being said and just understanding where they stood on the issue. And I agree. We both went to that last farm bureau meeting. Mm -hmm. I made my own reservation. I put it on my calendar. It was noticed because we both were there. All with county policy. I think it worked fine. So just making sure. I just want to be completely clear. So. Anything else?